and weather-wise, it was a beautiful day with a lot of sunshine. We still have that sun shining on our camera at the Perryville Airport, but it was also very breezy. That flag still flying out of the north and west, and it was also very cold. So if you're just sitting inside and looking out the window, it looks nice, but if you got out, I'm sure you felt that temperature difference. We've got temperatures running in the upper 40s and low 50s across the area. 55 in Poplar Bluff, Sykeston coming in at 54, Marion holding on to 50, and Mount Vernon at 49 degrees. Temperatures are going to continue to drop tonight. There is a freeze warning in place for some of our far southern counties, northwest Tennessee, and then Pemiscot and Dunklin counties off into the boot hill. Folks who didn't get quite as cold as what we saw last night. All of us still expecting a hard freeze tonight, so if you do have those potted plants outdoors, you'll want to make sure you're bringing them in if you want to keep them around for a little bit longer. Wednesday is going to continue to stay sunny but chilly, but by Thursday, we are going to be tracking a big warm up coming our way. It'll be a lot more comfortable than it is right now. Wide look of that satellite and radar. We do still have that area of low pressure that's over the Great Lakes, and then we have this pool of colder air, and you can see just how far it extends. It extends almost all the way to the Gulf Coast, so a lot of folks dealing with these really cold conditions. No surprise, it's going to continue to be cold tonight and into tomorrow morning. Morning. Tomorrow morning is actually expected to be a couple of degrees cooler than what we saw this morning. So by tomorrow morning, waking up to temperatures to the low to mid 20s as we kick off the day. Lots of sunshine, but temperatures in the afternoon going to be a degree or two warmer than what we saw today. So that's a little bit of an improvement. We are going to climb back up into the low to mid 50s, so maybe a little bit more bearable, but also still chilly as we get into Wednesday. Just for reference, the record low temperature for tomorrow is about 20 degrees. That was set in 1976, and the record cold high temperature is 51 degrees. Tomorrow, we are going to be a degree or two warmer than that, but we're starting to get pretty close. Storm Track 3 app, of course, always great to have on your smartphone. The rest of the week, we are going to continue to track very dry weather. It's going to continue to be dry and breezy, so still tracking that elevated fire threat through the weekend. There is finally a little bit of relief, though. By next week, we are expecting our next rain chances to come in Monday and into Tuesday next week. Now, some more good news. If you're not a fan of the cold weather, it's also going to get significantly warmer. By Thursday, back up into the upper 60s. By Friday, we're tracking mid-70s. And then by the weekend, partly cloudy skies and high temperatures up close to 80. So that's a much better than what we saw today. Great for outside plants. Oh yeah. Yeah, and that's a pretty intense uh, climb temperature wise. That's a huge climb, so yeah. just keep all of your wardrobes ready. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, thank you, JC.